This is the foot pal device that Dean's been talking to you about. And you can see all the items that come with the machine in the box. You have a USB adapter, and you have a scan card that's all set to go, and you have the foot pal device itself. Now the scan card goes in the side, and to turn the machine on, there's a gray button that you're going to push towards the back of the machine. And you know the machine's turned on when you look at the preview window, and it will give you the name foot pal. Now in order to scan, you're going to lift up the cover, take whatever photograph you choose to scan, put it face down, and close the cover. Now you're going to turn it over so you can actually check your photograph and see what's inside so you know you have it placed properly before the scan even starts. To start the scan, you push the green button. And you can look on your preview window and see the progress of the scanning as it's happening. When the scan is complete, you will turn the machine off by pushing that same gray button, eject the scan card from the side, take the scar and put it insert it in the USB adapter, and put the adapter into your USB slot on your computer. Now we have PE Design Next open on this screen. Okay. Okay, we're going to select the icon to bring an image in to turn it into a stitch file. At this point, you're going to read the scan card and bring in the scan of your choice. And you're going to say open. This brings the uh, window open that asks which way you want to have your stitch file. You can choose a color stitch, a sepia, and for this demonstration we're going to use the sepia window. So now you're going to choose next. The picture comes up and you want to check the image. so you. Uh, select image tune. You want to make a nice crisp picture for the software to work with. And we're going to say OK. At this point you just say next. And you're going to select fit to page so you can make your image as big as the hoop size. And we had previously selected 8x8 so that's why the size it went to. And you're going to say next. And you have hourglass and it's showing you the preview of what the software has already detected. Now you're going to make two simple changes. You're going to go to the run pitch and take it down as low as you possibly can. And on detail, you're going to move that little cursor over to fine. Then you're going to select update preview so you can see what these changes have done. And as soon as you're all set, you're just going to push finish that's located below the photograph. And it will come up and show you exactly what has been created. It shows you your stitching on the side. It shows you your colors over on the right. And all that's left to do is click on send and send it to your machine by the method that you